Welcome back, everybody, to a uh, more Sam Knight campaign. This part of, like, the timer has not stopped since the last episode, so let's go ahead and get this started. Um, and hope that we don't run over too much on time. I don't think we will. I think we'll be perfectly fine. But yeah, we have the less experienced army here today, fighting the Messanians. I think that's how you would... I think that's what the ethnicity would be. Was Messanian. I think that's what it would be. It's the Messanians and the Syracusans. So, they don't have too, too many troops here, actually. It's kind of disappointing. I was hoping for a bit more of a true battle. But they have some hoplites, which I can appreciate. But we have enough cavalry where I don't think it matters. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our spears. I'd like to think of these Samnite spears as the equivalent to a Thurio spear unit, but better <laughs> in a lot of ways. Then we'll get the warriors behind them ready to charge. Because all these troops carry javelins as their primary weapon. It's interesting. Um... We'll put our general right here in the middle. And then let's get our cab ready to uh, charge home. We have a fair amount of companion cav. It's really heavy cavalry. Throw javelins before the charge. It's really good. And then we have these Samnite heavy lancers. And they have a very good charge bonus thanks to our general being zealous. Uh, they're almost as good as companion cav in the base game. So it's always nice to see that. But let's march in. Well, ride in. Um, so in the last episode, in the very beginning, I talked about um, if you guys would be interested in a Medieval 2 campaign. Maybe a Kingdoms campaign, maybe a Grand campaign. I haven't decided yet. But... If you would be interested, I want to crank out one series at a time at this point, just because the like trying to switch games for a recording day is very, very time-consuming, and I have limited time as it is. <laughs> so I feel it's necessary to keep everything churning out um, properly that we do one series at a time. So after this, we'll probably go back to Hearts of Iron because it's a, always a lot of fun. Um, you know what, we're gonna take these two guys. Yeah, I need to actually commentate on the battle while I'm doing this, or actually uh, take part in the battle while I uh, talk about things. And if you're not up for a Medieval 2 campaign or voting for that yet, whatever. It's up to you guys, but um, it is very necessary that we talk, or I get a, a consensus on what we want to do next in Hearts of Iron, because we're very, not necessarily limited, but... Um, I would like to see... Oh, hey, let me go and charge into them. Oh. Okay, sorry I blanked out there. Yeah, I'd like to see what faction you guys would like to see in um, Hearts of Iron 4 for our next let Let's Play of that series. Um, or of that game. Not, not that series. It's an entirely different series. Um... I've been interested in possibly doing Finland, um, like democratic Finland, maybe get like Soviet Union involved in a war they against the Allies, try and do something like that. That'd be fun. Or maybe play one of the major nations, um, like France, because that's always a lot of fun as well. Actually, let me charge behind on them. 
Yeah, our uh, companions here are kind of getting surrounded. It's not too bad right now, at the very least. Let's go ahead and take out the citizen cav. Those hoplites are going to go down. Oh, no, you don't. You're not going to be wavering for long. Let's go ahead and take them out. Yeah, most of these troops are going to die very, very soon. We do still have this force that we have to deal with. Um, don't waste your javelins, troops. Just move into position, get ready to charge home. Uh, their general's about to die. Okay. Let's go and take out this Messanian general. Uh, the, the warriors doesn't matter too much if they... Uh, Let's charge in with the... God damn it. Um, I hope you guys don't mind them uh, slamming doors too, too much. We're going to move around and flank those troops. We're going to charge home with the rest of our cavalry. Just one at a time. Because they may be picked top lights, but there's so few of them that it shouldn't matter. And these Samnite Spears should be well-equipped enough to handle the Thurio Spears very aptly. Alright, let's get this last unit charged in. Okay, anyway, um, we're back. No problems at all <laughs> that anybody needs to worry about. <sighs> but... Yeah, we're making progress here. Slowly but surely. This episode's only taken, like, uh... This battle hasn't... We haven't actually been in here too long. It's kind of nice to see. But we have all of our cavalry ready, and I don't want these troops in particular, so... I'm gonna reorganize there. Get the rest of the companion cav that's still ready to charge home. Involved in this battle. Actually, you guys can come back this way. You guys can swing out. And you guys can shoot the gap. And get ready to charge the flank. Yeah, let's take out those militia hoplites. And then here. Yep. These poor slingers are just going to get ripped to shreds. It's the worst thing. No citizen cab didn't even make too much of a difference. Let's charge into those pick top lights. We don't have any javelins left, which is kind of tragic, but... Now we're actually charging them from behind. And doing a fair amount of damage. And those stereo spears are going to get a bit of the charge as well. So... Let's get these troops over here. These guys can get out of shield wall. Get ready to throw in some javelins. Uh, that's Citizen Cav. Okay, I thought that was one of my cavalry units. It was not, actually. Let's just deselect them. And let's get in position to throw our javelins at those picked top lights. We're going to get a lot of chevrons on these guys from the number of kills that they get. Yeah, that dropped a fair number. That dropped a roughly the same number. All right, those citizen cap have to go. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they went up like a whole chevron level <laughs> from that. That's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and end the battle there. We lost 300 men, killed 1,200. I, I love it. The Samnite Spears, uh, they didn't perform too well. But neither did their hoplites, so I guess that's okay. Alright, we're going to kill all these captives, and that should be the end to the state of Messana. Yep. And we should be able to just take the city at this point. Yeah, they have a general... And they have some garrison troops. They don't actually have any foot troops. 
You know what? I don't think the battle would actually take that long. Yeah, we have some time in the episode, so... Let's do it. Let's go right in. Still got like 15 minutes on the recording. Ready to go. I think I started with like 22, actually, so we have more than 15. <laughs> we have like t closer to 20. And I'd like to see my Samnite warriors take this city all on their own. Maybe make my uh, companions into uh, foot companions. Eh, get it? Foot companions. Uh, the bad puns, they exist. You just gotta deal with it because reasons. Why is my general on one of these? Like, that's ridiculous. Why would I want my general on one of those? Do I only have seven? <laughs> oh, yeah, because of this guy. Okay, that makes sense. Don't mind me be just being stupid. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go there, 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 and there. I can't see the uh, range on those arrow towers, actually. Okay, that's kind of concerning. Um, I'd rather scoot everyone down a little bit. There. Okay, these guys need to start walking. <laughs> and they have that one little slinger unit. Uh, I love it. I guess I can move my general up with them. Why not? Whoa, that's the back of the map. Wow. <laughs> Syracuse is a very large city. Oh, and they have a bastion scorpion over there. Okay. Ooh, but this could prove... This could prove to be very interesting. I want to get my cavalry over here. Because I'm thinking their skirmishers are going to go and try and land by this gate. Oh, wow. The, the way the harbor is set up. That's very... Wow, these are very complicated and intricate walls. That's impressive. But apparently just there's no wall guarding this section right here. You can land a huge naval invasion force on this beach right here. That's it. I'd like to see this map in a similar uh, battle. Um, maybe in a future campaign. I don't think those slingers are going to get any kills if, or well, very many kills if any at all. They might get this guy here on the end. Or these few, like, four, four or five. But nothing too concerning. All right, our troops are climbing the ladders. This is good. So we're going to capture this tower and the gatehouse. So these guys are going to get on the wall and immediately head down here. And these guys are going to get on the wall. Whoa, lag spike. We're good. <laughs> and you're going to charge down that way. You guys are going to charge at those slingers. And you guys, I guess, can go over that way. All right. We'll take a companion cab over there. Those are Hippaeus Lancers. Okay, so they're going to be armed with swords and no horses. Good. Excellent. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah, can you guys go over down that way, actually? Wow, I don't know what's causing these lag spikes at all. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. We didn't get this on Rome. Ah. Oh, my Lancers are, like, right there. Wow. Wow. Okay, it looks like all of their troops are landing right here, so that's very beneficial to us. They have raiding Himalayas of Javelin Men. Let's 
just oh game's freezing is the AI just like going overboard on giving orders or something I can't tell <laughs> okay we're gonna have to charge like get out of here very soon get just go 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 get away from those archers that's way too many to be trying to deal with. They're, they're not going to get too many kills because they don't have very good AP damage. But they are shooting into the backs of our cavalry right now. Alright, now at this point I think they're going to go and try and land. Where, what towers have we captured? Um, we captured the gatehouse. Alright, these guys can... Oh god, we got to make it all the way through the city? But oh, jeez. This is going to be a long haul. Let's go ahead and get the guys moving then. Alright, so we've got. God damn, guys. <laughs> so, um. Alright, we're good to charge in. Alright, let's do it. They're not gonna get any volleys off before we engage. Charge home. Let a few of them jump off. Oh, game picked up. <laughs> the actual, like, game itself is, like, having tremors at the moment. Now, I'm interested in seeing where uh, these Hippias Lancers decide they want to uh, land. And what we can do about it. Flying wedge. What does that do? Charge bonus and melee attack. That's all we got. That's all we're gonna need against the Hippias. All right, my warriors down here. Um, for the most part. For the most part. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna let all of these lancers actually get off the boat before we charge home. Actually, I think we might have to. Just for the sake of... Actually, that's weird. We were able to do, give that order with uh, the archers, but... We do still have our javelins as well. Okay. There we go. That's... Oh, man. Those poor Paeus Lancers, they're never going to stand a chance. Alright. What we're going to do... Is going to make a run for this tower right here. It's interesting placement for it. We want you guys on the right to go ahead and take that tower. Now we should be able to advance to the town center and only have to deal with one archery tower along the way. All right, let's do it. Okay. That's our cavalry done and dealt with. What we're also going to do is move these fresh units of Sam Not Warriors into the city just in case something goes awry. And I think we're good to speed the game up. So let's do it. Oh, oh, hiccups. Hiccups are a thing that's happening. It's interesting that the game is doing that. I'm not sure what causes it. It's definitely not a memory leak because the frame rate keeps going back up to above 50. Like, yeah, you guys are seeing it at 30. I'm seeing it at about 50. If I could get it to record at a consistent 60, then you guys would be seeing that, no problem. But <laughs> my laptop just can't handle that at the moment. It's just completely impossible. We're going to go ahead and start marching this way as well. Are we still... Uh, we're winded. I don't think it's going to matter. I think we have too many troops. These troops need to go ahead and head this way as well. And it looks like we've been doing this episode for about 15 minutes. So we got 15 minute leeway period to wrap this up. 
I don't know. Talking about that, <laughs> I talked about this last episode, um, just because it hasn't been any, like any time for me, but it's been a day for you guys. Um, all right, now that that's captured, we can go ahead and move these forces up. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, me talking about my process that I go through. I guess. It's also good to see that I fuck up a lot during recording. <laughs> um, where just things happen. Which is always very interesting to come by. But, really, anybody can make a YouTube video. Um, I had no idea what I was doing when I started. I, I watched a three-part tutorial by Quill18. You should definitely go watch that if you're interested. He uses OBS. No, he uses Fraps. But he does explain OBS, which is what I use. Um, the very basics. If you guys want me to do a tutorial on my setup, <laughs> on how I record things, uh, I have no problem with it. I'm, throwing, I'm trying to throw out ideas out that you guys would be interested in for uh, videos because... While I do enjoy doing what I want, I don't feel like I'm getting very far. Like, we've been chilling around 20 subs now for about a month. Like, I picked up the guys at the beginning of the uh, South Africa campaign in Hearts of Iron 4. And I've gotten a couple, a few, but... It's nowhere near as fast as it was during the uh, latter half of August and the beginning of um, September. And I'd like to see it go back up. I mean, it makes really no, not much of a distant difference to me, and that's the timer going off, but we still have like roughly 10 minutes. But it makes, it doesn't make too much of a difference to me how many people are too interested in watching my stuff because I'd like to, I don't know, in the future maybe like if I have kids, show my kids what I did, um, if they start playing video games, or being able to look back on it for myself, um, or show it as like part of a portfolio that I can talk for like 30 minutes on end, 45 minutes possibly. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it's an interesting reasoning behind why I did it, though, um, oh, we're being shot at by the arrow tower. Thanks for changing the music like that game. Um, but yeah, I literally just started this just because I wanted to keep myself productive during the summer, and, uh, I wasn't quite ready to take on a job. And I enjoyed playing video games. I watched YouTube. And I still watch YouTube all the time. Um, so, it's very nice when you get to do these kinds of things. Just because happenstance puts you in the situation. Yeah, those, those, those troops are fresh. But we have shield wall tactics. So we should be alright. Actually, these guys can... Oh, we're throwing javelins, that's right. Yeah, there's not too many of them, so they can't really block that many uh, projectiles. And we're going to go ahead and take that archery tower as quickly as possible. Yep, they're going to start throwing javelins. A lot of them are going to bounce off these columns, though. But they're still effective enough as it is. We've killed over half the unit. Yeah, you should be able to see the jow. Yeah, they're bouncing off the columns. I'm not sure how easily you can see that. It should be in 1080p, though. Yeah, I'm recording in 1080, so you should be able to see that anyway. Oh, there you go. Yep. Oh. Okay, advisor. Good. Wow, we only lost 22 men. And we killed over four... 350. I was about to say 400. That is definitely a 3 in the hundreds digit right there. 
So, we have taken the island of Sicily from the Greeks. I don't think there's any Greek factions left on the map. I mean, I guess you could say Carthage is, but they're really Phoenician. It's not quite the same. Um, yeah, we'll turn that into a garrison fort. Um, actually, before I do that, I'd rather convert this to a Temple of Duvai. I'll make this into the Temple of Duvai, and then we'll dismantle this. And I'll make that into a delicatessen, because our public order seems to be very good here in this province. Interestingly enough. And we'll start double-timing it back up to the north. So, let's do it. But, yeah, we're going to end this turn. And that's going to do it for this episode here today. Hope you all enjoyed watching. And... We'll have some more battles for you coming up very soon. So I hope you all are looking forward to that, and I will see you all in the next video. So long, everybody.